Hi, Els here. In this video, we'll be exploring the classification of business activities because this understanding is critical for the development of the statement of cash flows. Let's get started. There are three main business activities, financing, investing, and operating. In order to better understand these activities, let's start a business and walk through them. Say you want to start a business that imports organically grown coffee beans from South America. You are joining the approximately 250,000 people who start businesses in Canada every single year. If you start this business, what do you think you'll have to do first? Well, the equipment you'll need to roast the coffee beans is expensive, so the first thing you're going to need is funding. Financing activities are all about getting or repaying cash. You may have savings of your own, but you might need to borrow money. That's called debt financing. If you're a corporation, you can sell shares. That's called equity financing. Financing activities are all about funding your business. Cash flowing into your business so that you can fund or pay for the location and equipment you'll need to run that business. However, remember that financing involves not just getting the funds, but also repaying the funds or paying dividends to shareholders. After you've raised the funds you'll need, you're going to have to spend money to invest in your business. Investing activities are when you buy the things you need in order to run your business. Generally, any land, building, or equipment you might need, as well as registering trade names or buying licenses. For instance, for your coffee bean business, you'll have to buy the equipment you need to roast and grind the coffee beans. Any long-lived assets that you use to operate a business, whether tangible or intangible, are considered investing activities. Investing activities generally involve the use of cash because you tend to spend, spend, spend to get what you need for your business to operate. However, remember that investing activities involve the purchase and sale of long-lived assets, both tangible and intangible. These are the things you will use in your business, not the things you plan to sell to your customers. Once you've financed your business and bought what you need to run it, you're going to have to begin operating the business. That would include selling your coffee beans to earn revenue, sales revenue in this case, and all the costs you will incur to earn that revenue. Things like paying the salaries of your employees or the rent for your space. If you are using, consuming, or incurring costs to help you generate revenue, those are considered operating expenses and they are part of operating activities. So what is the business activity cycle? Financing activities to fund your business, investing activities to get everything you need to run your business, operating activities which are the day-to-day -day activities of the business. Is that it? No, business activities don't stop there. You'll likely need more funds to continue to invest in your business, helping it to grow in order to generate even more revenues. That will have even more operating costs. The process starts all over again. Financing to fund your business leads to investing, which leads to larger operations, which leads to more funding in the future. Business activities continue throughout the life cycle of your business. Let's double check your understanding of the types of business activities. Remember, pause the video and answer the question yourself first before I give you the answer. In your coffee bean business, if you sold your old roasting equipment, it would be considered an If you said A, operating activities, because you sold something, you're incorrect. You are not selling old equipment as your normal day-to-day -day activities, so the inflow of cash from the sale of old equipment is not part of your operating activities. If you said C, financing, because it caused an inflow of cash, you're wrong also. Financing is only debt or equity financing, and it is never due to the sale of anything. Since it's not A or C, it certainly can't be D or E, so the correct answer is B, investing activities. The purchase of your original equipment was included in investing activities. Because of that, the sale belongs in the same category as it was originally. Note that in each activity, what goes into that activity comes out of that same activity. The purchase of equipment is recorded under investing and therefore the sale of old equipment is also under investing activities. Similarly, if a business borrows money, it will be under financing activities. When they pay back that debt, it will also be under financing activities. Revenues go into operating activities, but the expenses that cause an outflow also go under operating activities. What goes in goes out of the same activity. 
Why is knowing about the different business activities so important? Accounting is an information system that provides financial information, but that information is useful only if those using it can understand it. Many stakeholders believe that cash is king in any business, meaning that cash flow is critical to evaluating the financial health of any business. The statement of cash flows is particularly useful for predicting how much cash will be available in the future to repay debt or pay dividends. And that statement is divided into the three business activities, financing, investing, and operating. By understanding the different types of activities, you can tie that understanding into the structure of the statement of cash flows, which is the subject of our next video.